So guys, this is the second video. In this video, I'll talk about how to automate the workflow. Workflow means we write the node space app.js command in order to run the server. And we go to the browser and reload the web page in order to see the changes. So we want this to be automated rather than doing these two steps that will save a lot of time if you are developing a big application. So first of all, uh, before automating it, I just want to tell you that what is the other way in order to uh, execute this app.js file. We can see that we have this script uh, property within this package.json file and it has a property called start. And start property contains a command node space app.js. Uh, we can write this command using this start key. Okay, so whatever we want to execute, uh, we can write it within these double quotes and within the key of start. So rather than writing node space app.js within the terminal, I can use npm node package manager space and this whatever we write here, we have written start and that will execute the command that is written inside this node space app.js. Okay, so I can write npm start and that will start the same server uh, that used to be started uh, using node space app.js command. So you can see that it has started the node uh, space app.js and it has shown me listening on port uh, 3300. If I go to browser and reload it, you can see that server is still loading uh, because this node space app.js command has been executed. So uh, I just want to create a new folder right here and name this folder app and I want to bring this app.js file within this app folder. Okay, so now uh, I need to update this uh, start script so I can write app space app.js and main app space app slash app.js. This is just for uh, explaining purpose and this will execute if I run my npm start command. If I save this file and stop the server and execute this command npm start you can see that it has now loaded app slash app.js file listening on port 3300 if i go to browser so uh, this is working fine now let's automate the workflow first of all i will use an external module uh, for reloading and restarting this server okay so for restarting this server there are many ways to do it like we can use gulp we can use grunt we can use different modules of node.js but there is a global module that we can use so for installing that module and the name of this module is nodemon so install this module globally in our system so i will use npm space install hyphen g nodemon and i will press enter hyphen g means it will install globally in my system and that will not be added uh, right here in the dependencies object means if it installed globally in my system that will be available in other projects as well rather than in this project just just like this express that is available in this project only okay or the projects that contains this express in this dependency object and that are installed and added in this node underscore modules folder Okay, I want this node mount to be installed globally. That's why I have added hyphen G after this install keyword. So let's wait for it until install node mount. So it is done with its installation of node mount. So now rather than using node command node space uh, and the name of that file that is needed to be run, we can use node mount along with node so i will write node mon and app slash app dot js okay so you can see that listening on port 3300 using this node mon command and if i go to the browser and reload this page you can see that our server is still working so now let's change something i'm going to this is our 
node.js and express.js i have made changes in this file and changed the message uh, from this is our express server and to this is our node and express server and i'm going to save this file and keep an eye on this terminal it will reload this server automatically let's save it and you can see that it has restarted due to the changes and starting node space app slash app dot js file so it has restarted our server so rather than using nodemon space app slash app dot js uh, i'm making changes right here within this start so i have written nodemon or uh, rather than the node right here and if i close my server and uh run npm space start and it will start this nodemon command you can see right here it has started nodemon space app slash app dot js so listening on port 3300 if i reload my page this is our node.js and express server so let's see if it reload it if i make any change let's save this file again it has restarted it and it has run this node space app slash app dot js so our server is being started and has been set automated okay so now uh, let's use another module that will be used to reload this page okay right now this page is not being loaded uh, once the changes is made to any of these files okay so let's go to the terminal i'm going to close this server and i'm going to use a module called reload so in order to install reload module i will use npm space install hyphen hyphen save and i will use reload and it will download this module and it will add that module within this dependencies object and inside node underscore modules folder so this reload module has been added right here it means that it will automatically be added underscore a node underscore modules folder as well so in order to use this module same as we required express we can require reload module so i will use var reload equals to require and reload so reload module have been required in order to use this reload module i just need to call this reload function and i need to pass it the server variable that is listening specific port and the app variable that is containing an instance of this express function okay so i will write server and app okay so let's save it and other thing i need to do is we need to add a listening script for this reload module under each of these routes okay so i just want to tell you that we can also give it further elements as well rather than just simple html element so for that we won't be using this single quote or double quote instead we will be using a character that is above the tab key on the keyboard okay so let's press enter and off i can end it with the same character and inside it i can write bunch of lines of html if i want okay and i can use the data binding with the variables using this character so after this h1 i can simply include script source and i need to write slash reload slash reload dot js and end that script tag okay so let's save this file and let's run our npm start command and it has started uh, our server and listening on port 3300 and if i resave this file it has restarted the server and if i go to the browser and reload it and let's go and change the message i'm just going to write hello world okay and i'm going to save this file along with the server uh, it should reload the page right here i have not saved the file yet and uh, rather than clicking on this reload button it should reload this page automatically and show me the hello world message right here so let's save this file save it we can see that the server has been restarted now let's go to our browser and see if the new message is shown or not
So you can see hello world is being shown. It means that without clicking on this reload button, our browser has been restarted and reloaded. So we have automated the workflow. We have automated our uh, script. Uh, I'll be using NodeMon and we can pass different uh, parameters to the node mon that which file should be executed which have, which file it should see if it make any changes then our server should be restarted like if we have 10 files and we want our server to be restarted on just uh, if we change only in five files then we can also pass the parameters we can also pass the extensions of files that the files that has this much extensions that has js extension that has txt extension that has json extension only those files should let our server to be restarted so i'll be doing it later on i hope that you have liked this video in the next video i will start creating more routes uh, rather than just this default route so see you in the next video make sure to subscribe this channel and hit the like button if you haven't yet thanks for watching